Alright, so weirdly enough, I reloaded my save, so welcome on back. Let me start out with my normal spiel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Splattercat, this is We Happy, if you happy to have you here today. But yeah, I reloaded my save, and I did a bunch of stuff, and... She's here talking to me, but she's not here. She said to come back tomorrow? Like, an invisible ghost of Faraday told me to come back tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do for right now. We will leave the shop and we will come back tomorrow, since that was the only option left to us. And so there it is. We have completed the fair. Oh Christ! What the hell was that? I hope she's all right. Good Lord! Go check. Yes, you are correct, Rupert Grint. Let us go make sure that she's not like exploded or dying or anything. Oh, the door's open now. Oh, for heaven's sake! She's run off. I don't think she's run off. I think she's actually just been... I... What is this? A letter from Helen Faraday. But what gate is this for? Let's see... Thanks for all your help. You'll go far one day, which is one more than I thought I could say for these other idiots. You'll need the gate code. It's 1492. So I'm assuming what we have to do is somewhere in this room. Let me close the door real fast. The gate code is 1492. Did she use the bobby popper, or how did she make this happen? Oh, the gate code. The gate code. Oh. Gotcha. I understand what she means now. We need to get out of here. Obviously, this is going to draw all sorts of attention. Or at least it would, I suppose, if the game was actually finished. I assume that at some point, people will be standing around like, Oh my god, the world is exploding! WTF, mate? What is going on, amigo? Things are happening, pal! You know, in all other terms of endearment. No more food poisoning for me! Alright, so my food poisoning's been taken care of. Now, we need to get our ass out of here. And we need a Faraday's gate code to escape. Which is through that door over there. I actually don't really think it's going to take us too much effort to get through here. I'd say we should probably top off our joy. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get through there. But aside from that factor, this should be easy peasy. Oh, look, the floor is back. Hooray. I love it when the floor is back. This might be our last episode. This might be us, like, concluding and just being a badass and finishing this shit off. Sugar and salt, Peter. Tea leaves. Tea leaves. Nothing in the fridge. Let's go ahead and drink our water real fast. We're a little bit sleepy at the moment, but I think we've got time to make this happen. We need to go straight this way, actually, and then we'll just be the hell out of here. There's a joy checker over here. And there's another joy checker before we go through with the spanker. But I've got one joy pill left, so I think we should have timed this out just perfectly. Let's go ahead and we'll go through the joy detector booth. That's right, I am joyful. Look at the smile upon my face. That's right, weird whirly gig thingy. Hi, how's it going? Welcome, hell. How's your mother? Alright, let's continue. That load screen was way quicker than I expected. Sometimes the loads take forever in this game, and sometimes they take all of like 12 seconds. We've got four, we've got Faraday's code, 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if that's what it's entailing, that we're like taking off to go and leave and explore. Come on. Indeed I have. Why are you so grumpy about the fact that there's happiness in my life? You'd think they come up with other versions of joy for the people it doesn't work for. But maybe this is one of those plans that they implemented more rapidly than they actually got it sorted out. Alright, so we made it through the joy detector. Got our gas mask on. We input the code. Turn back. Wear your gas mask. Find the shelter with the raft. Huh, we actually made it out of Wellington Wells. This is greatly surprising. I'm going to take my clothes off real fast because we're back out in the middle of nowhere with people who probably want to hurt us. There's no room in my inventory. There should be room in my inventory. 
tear that suit up real fast. And then I can also make a padded suit. But I need that to be worn right now. We're a little bit tired. A little bit hungry. A little bit thirsty. So we'll need to sort ourselves out here. Oh wow, the gas mask only works for a little while. Getting late. Yeah, no kidding. Pick this lock very quickly. Hopefully we'll find a place to give ourselves some well-needed respite in here. Alright, close the door behind us. Windows locked too. Door is jammed. Sovereign in the toilet. Apparently somebody making wishes in places that I don't think it works like that. My gas mask has apparently broken. And what have we here? We may have made a mistake. I may have made a mistake here. Ooh. All kinds of stuff in there. Screws, alcohol, an electro hammer pipe. Damn, son. They got that good shit down here. Oh, really? It's that easy, huh? I just make it to the raft and then I'm the hell up out of here. We aren't really provisioned for leaving. I hate to say, oh, my inventory's empty. What happened to my inventory? Good lord. Well, then I guess I will take all this stuff. Alright. Yeah, sure, since my inventory is empty, we may as well. Although the load screen said we've come to the end of our time, so... I always liked the parade. I wonder if it's anything like I remember. Nothing else has been. Funny. After all this, I could still just take my happy pills. Just show up to work and tell Miss Bing I've been on holiday, and we'd all pretend the unpleasantness never happened. Why can't I? Because of Percy? And I guess now the hard part starts. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Well, you've got Arthur to the shores of the Parade District. Who knew he'd make it that far? But this is just a small part of Arthur's story, and there's a lot more to come. Will he survive long enough to escape Wellington Wells? Will he ever find his long-lost brother? The full story will come in the 1.0 release of We Happy Few. Until then, we'll be constantly adding new gameplay, and we'd love to get your feedback on that procedural world. So there it is. It appears as though we're done. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the continuation of We Happy Few, which is coming along nicely. I definitely think they've got a bunch of stuff done since the last time I played it. It's it's tough to tell with games that are narrative based because sometimes you can fly through that very, very quickly. And so anyways, I look forward to seeing you all whatever comes next. Hi to everybody, this is We Happy Few, which I look forward to playing the 1.0 release of, for certain.